This plot contains sensitive subject matters, and some suggestive content. Viewer discretion advised. Don't watch if offended. Vicky? Where are you? Oh my gosh! Have you even been paying attention to the teleprompter, Paul? <laughs> What's seriously up with Paul? Beats me. <laughs> Vicky? I hope it's you. No? It's not Vicky? Where are you expecting her? I was hoping it was her. I really need to talk to you. This is kind of a bad time. I'm kind of going through some stuff. I walked off of my new set because of it. Wow. Let's talk in the lounge. Okay. First off, what do you need to talk about? I went to see a therapist. I felt like it was the right thing to do. After what happened. That's great. I'm glad you're getting help. Thank you, Paul. Do you seriously think I'm pretty? I don't think it's appropriate to be asking that. To a married man? But do you? Ugh, yes. Really? Yes. Like I said you are pretty, but to make it clear, I chose my wife, Vicky. She's been through a lot of stuff. Like what? I loved Vicky before I met her. I seen her around town, but she was married to an abusive man. Vicky was the reason that I stayed here. I was ready to leave to go home to Lancaster, or even back to New York City, but at that moment, she came in the cafe for an autograph. And I was dating Lucy at that time. And Chard, while in New York. They both treated me like crap. Vicky's the only one that gave me respect. On the day that we ran away together, we met again at the grocery store. She took me into the alley and she revealed to me that she was the blazing beauty. She showed me a sexier part of her. Her outfit really turned me on. But as tough as she was, I only see a vulnerable side of her, twice. The night that I rescued her from Hunk, the reason why I walked off my news set. It was what happened a few days ago. I seen the rape suspect forcefully kiss Vicky and stick his hand up her dress. Is that why you killed him? Yes! When I seen what he was doing to Vicky, violating her, I snapped. Have you told Vicky how you feel? No. She has no idea that these thoughts are bothering me. Paul? I think you should tell Vicky how you feel. Right? But I have no idea how. <laughs>